change in solubility due to change in temperature experiment. To start off our experiment, we are going to test the solubility of salt in 100 grams of cold water. Each paper here contains 1 gram of salt. So we are pouring a gram of salt into the water one by one and mixing it until the salt completely dissolves. So as you can see here, the salt takes a while to dissolve in the cold water. Fast forwarding it a bit, it took 25 grams of salt to create a saturated solution. Here's a picture of the saturated solution of salt and cold water. You can even see some salt deposits at the bottom. So now we are going to see what the solubility of salt is in 100 grams of warm water. We will be carrying out the same steps in with this one as the one we did with cold water. You can also see a noticeable difference at in the speed at which the salt dissolves. In the cold water, the salt dissolved very slowly. But in this warm water, we can see that the salt dissolves a lot more quickly than in the cold water. In warm water, it took 45 grams of salt to create a saturated solution. So here's a picture of the saturated solution. You can also clearly see some undissolved salt deposits. So now we'll be carrying out the same experiment with 100 grams of boiling water. You can see that the salt in boiling water dissolves with relative ease and it dissolves very quickly. So in boiling water, it took 73 grams of salt in order to create a saturated solution. So here's a picture of the salt and boiling water solution. You can also see some salt deposits at the bottom of the glass. So here are the results. In 100 g of cold water, the solubility of salt was 25 grams. In warm water, it was 47 grams. And in boiling water, the solubility was 73 grams.